One Day, One Mission, The Unveiled Journey of a Historical Design Dealer. Imagine waking up each day to an adventure, a quest that marries your love for history, design, and the thrill of discovery. Now, what if this is not just your imagination, but your actual job? Welcome to a day in the life of a historical design dealer. This profession may be relatively new, yet it is brimming with possibilities and excitement at every turn. The thrill of hunting for unique, rare pieces of furniture and decorative artifacts can be likened to a treasure hunt. Each find holds a fascinating backstory, an echo from the past, that makes the quest all the more exhilarating. Buying these historical designs isn't just an act of transaction, it's akin to receiving a tangible piece of history. But what happens after the purchase? There's the journey of restoration, research, pricing, and finally, selling. The selling, when successful, is the rewarding culmination of the process, the sweet fruit of labor. Of course, between buying and selling, there lies a mountain of work. But believe me, every drop of sweat and effort put into it is worth that magical moment of the initial purchase. As a historical design dealer, every day presents a new challenge. We are always racing against the clock and against other dealers, constantly engaged in a high-stakes game of swift decisions. In just a few seconds, we need to discern the potential of an object, its origin, and its possible value. This is where our knowledge, honed through years of study and experience, comes into play. There are those who prefer the comfort of buying pieces from the comfort of their homes, engaging in online auctions where the prices can skyrocket. But there's a unique joy in the act of finding, touching, and understanding a historical design piece firsthand. To me, it's more than just a job, it's a passion, a calling. I seek to find and acquire all types of artifacts, from various eras and cultures, each carrying a unique story. Specializing in historical design, I found this field to be endlessly fascinating. There were countless designers in the 1900s, in Italy and elsewhere, each leaving behind a treasure trove of timeless pieces. To fully embrace the breadth and depth of historical design, it's essential to approach research from a 360-degree view, not excluding anything. Yes, mistakes happen. And in this profession, they often serve as the best teachers. Every mistake is a stepping stone towards becoming a more proficient and savvy dealer. While the missteps may linger in memory, it's important to remember that this is more than just a game, it's a profession fueled by passion and dedication. The tools of our trade? A sturdy van, our horse, to carry the treasures we unearth, and a library of books, our sword, to guide us in understanding and identifying them. The field of historical design dealing is relatively young, and it holds untold potential for growth. More and more people are drawn towards it, recognizing the unique charm and character historical pieces can add to any space. Indeed, a touch of historical design can make the impossible possible, transforming a space from mundane to extraordinary. What does it take to be a historical design dealer? the so-called antique dealer of the future. A love for history, a keen eye for design, and an insatiable thirst for adventure. If these attributes resonate with you, then perhaps you are destined to join the ranks of historical design dealers. I hope this peek into the daily life of a historical design dealer has ignited your curiosity and passion for this wonderful profession. Stay tuned for more insights, tips, and stories from the world of historical design dealing.